Hey guys, welcome back to the show Across the Waves, presented by the Leo Club of Hindu College, Colombo. I am your host Nivedita. Today is November 10th. Today is the World Science Day. Science may set limits to knowledge, but shouldn't set limits to imagination. Happy World Science Day. What is World Science Day? World Science Day happens every year on November 10th. It was started as a way of opening up the world of scientific research and discovery to engage everybody in current scientific issue and developments. Like artificial intelligence or renewable energy, World Science Day aims to show that although you may not be a scientist or a researcher, science is all around you and is a part of everybody's life. By making science more accessible, World Science Day is one way in which science can be used to inspire people to study and participate in it. Its full name is World Science Day for Peace and Development and this tells you more about its mission to help bring about cooperation between scientists living in places that are in conflict. World Science Day was started in 2001 by UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. It promoted a smaller conference, the World Conference on Science, which took place in Budapest onto the world stage. UNESCO also see it as an opportunity to orientate the extended scientific community, including government actors, around shared goals and values like world peace and the eradication of poverty. It is hoped that by aligning science more closely with social goals, scientists will be empowered to work together for the benefit of all, in their own words. As no one country can achieve sustainable development alone, international scientific cooperation contributes not only to scientific knowledge but also to building peace. In summary, the aims and objectives of World Science Day are as follows. To raise awareness of how science can contribute to more peaceful and sustainable global community. To advocate for a transnational scientific community. To renew interest in science and technology, particularly as a way of benefit societies. To draw attention to the challenges faced by the scientific community in all parts of the world. How should I celebrate World Science Day? For educators, World Science Day presents a fantastic opportunity to engage and inspire their class. It can be celebrated in a number of different ways. The event is usually organized around a central theme in 2019. The theme was Open Science Leaving No One Behind. In addition to the aims listed in the previous section, the event also sought to advocate for a more transparent scientific community, as well as making science more accessible to disadvantaged backgrounds. Previous themes have included towards green societies, science as an instrument of peace, and science for global understanding. World Science Day therefore presents plenty of opportunities for cross-curricular learning. The theme for National Science Day 2021 is Future of STI, Impacts on Education, Skills and Work. For a quick way to bring World Science Day into your lessons, try these PowerPoints made especially to introduce children to its aims and ideas. Firstly, this KS to Quiz World Science Day, What has science ever done for us? is a fun, interactive way of pointing out to children the inventions made possible by science which they use every day or have changed our lives and the way we think about ourselves. There are 10 questions which give the names of some big names in science and ask children to answer with that. They invented or discovered. They are multiple choice. So it's a good starter for the topic rather than revision. At the end, there is a prompt for children to go and find out more about one of several of the scientists. A good research activity for World Science Day. For a KSI quiz that covers even more historical figure of science, look to this World Science Day quiz. This quiz is fully interactive and comes back with information on figure ranging from Mary Anning to Mary Curran. Alternatively, this starter PowerPoint asks children to identify the portraits of some key scientists and follow up with a little bio about each of them. What is science? Science is the pursuit of an understanding of how the natural world works. There are many different types of scientists who work in variety of fields. Ecologists, geologists, physicists, astronomers, mathematicians, engineers, hydrologists, biotechnologists, and the list goes on. Scientists observe the physical world to form a basis of understanding of how different processes work. 
For an example, a geologist study rocks and the process by which they change while a hydrologist examines water, how it moves and is distributed and what quality it has. As part of their work, scientists collect evidence to test new ideas or to disprove old ones and try to find ways to improve people's lives. Example, Earth scientists are developing better models for the prediction of earthquakes, landslides and volcanic eruptions while biotechnologists work to develop vaccines against diseases such as HIV and AIDS. Why is science important in peace and development? From the struggle against disease to finding more efficient ways to use soil and water resources, the advances of science can help improve the lives of people across the world. Investment in science and technology can contribute to economic development and help create much needed jobs. Science is an essential tool in the international community's work to eradicate poverty and promote sustainable development. Yet the majority of the world's people have yet to benefit from the potential that science offers. Millions die every year from preventable diseases. Environment degradation is having an impact on food and water supplies in many parts of the world. Roughly 1 in 10 people in the world don't have access to safe water. 1 in 8 is affected by hunger and 35 million people have died from HIV or AIDS since 1981. Much remains to be done to find workable solutions to ever-growing demand for energy, food and housing and improve the health of an expanding global population. Who has access to science and technology? Despite the enormous wealth and interconnectedness that categorize our globalized world, most of the world's scientific potential is still limited to a few countries. They alone have the financial means and human resources to conduct research in many fields, especially in advanced science. In 2008, the Arab states and the countries in sub-Saharan Africa accounted for only 1% each of new scientific publications worldwide, while the European Union was responsible for over 36%. This situation hasn't always been the case. Different civilizations have over the ages contributed toward building and transmitting scientific knowledge. During the early medieval period of European history, the center of scientific advancement was in Baghdad, the capital of today's Iraq. Under the rule of Abbasid dynasty which ruled over a large empire, scientists such as Avicenna al Zan and the al Biruni thrived, according to the British professor Jim al Khali, that advances in philosophy, mathematics, astronomy, medicine and physics. During this period made the later European Renaissance principle and contributed to the birth of modern scientific method itself. In fact, for 700 years, the international language of science was Arabic. Science, a collaborative effort in its essences. Science knows no geographical boundaries. It is the product of a tool for global understanding and cooperation. Scientific collaboration is vital to ensure the data, knowledge and innovation are shared, thus enabling all countries to benefit from new discoveries and advances in scientific knowledge. International partnerships, however, needs to be combined with national capacity building. Scientific breakthroughs will not benefit people unless governments across the world have the capacity to access, adapt and implement new measures and policies through its institutions and education systems. What does the UN do? UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization is the only UN, specialized agency with a specific mandate to promote science. From basics and environmental sciences to science policy and ethics, UNESCO acts as an advocate for science globally. It enables people to participate in and benefit from the production, sharing and application of scientific knowledge. UNESCO hosts major international programs in the freshwater, marine, ecological, earth and basic sciences. It also facilitates international collaboration such as the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission which coordinates programs in marine research services, observation system, hazard mitigation, and capacity development in order to understand and effectively manage the resources of the ocean and the coastal areas. A key achievement for the IOC is the establishment of a tsunami warning system in the Indian Ocean following the devastating tsunami in December 2004, which killed 250,000 people in the region. The tsunami was caused by a massive undersea earthquake of the Indonesian island of Sumatra and the new early warning system is based on the observation network of seismometers, which register the strength of an earthquake, and sea level measuring stations which send real-time data to national and regional warning centers. 
the warning centers use the information from the observation networks to decide whether to confirm or cancel a tsunami warning. However, the warnings and the science behind them are useless if the coastal communities in the region are not prepared and have received information about what to do in the case of a tsunami. The science underpinning the system can save lives only if the countries and the communities affected have the capacity to implement the policies and system needed to make their warning system a reality. UNESCO also worked to promote gender equality in scientific research, as women are underrepresented in basic scientific research as well as at higher decision making levels. The UNESCO for Women in Science program recognized women researchers who, through the scope of their work, have contributed to overcoming the global changes of tomorrow. This is done through international awards and international and national fellowships. Since 1998, the Royal UNESCO Awards have recognized 64 laureates from 30 countries, two of who have gone on to receive the Nobel Prizes. With the aim of highlighting the important role of science in society and the need to engage the wider public in debates on emerging scientific issues, November 10th of each year is celebrated as the World Science Day for Peace and Development. According to UNESCO, this year the theme of the World Science Day is Science for and with the society in dealing with COVID-19. With the entire world hit, hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, the theme of the World Science Day for Peace and Development targets bringing science closer to society and to bolster the critically needed international scientific collaborations. According to UNESCO, their response to COVID-19 is structured around three major pillars, promoting international scientific cooperation, ensuring access to water and supporting ecological reconstruction promoting international scientific cooperation. To tackle the COVID-19 pandemic, it is imperative to strengthen international and national scientific cooperation, as well as the dialogue between scientists, policymakers, private practitioners, industries, and health professionals, civil society, and public at large. This calls for open access to scientific knowledge and know how data sharing and evidence-based policy and decision-making and an urgent transition to open science globally. Improving access to water and sanitation. Access to clean and safe water and sanitation is critical and the indispensable to avoid the spread of COVID-19 and to fight the pandemic. UNESCO provides scientific and technical advice and builds capacity for evidence-based and inclusive water policies and for the sustainable management of water resources towards ensuring access to clean and safe water and sanitation for all. Supporting ecological reconstruction. The pressure on biodiversity and its natural habitat favor the emergence of zoonoses such as COVID-19 more than ever. There is need to rethink the links between people and nature. UNESCO's designated sites as biosphere reverses and global UNESCO geoparks are powerful tools for bringing people closer to nature by testing and applying integrated approaches to biodiversity conservation and sustainable use and sustainable development. The current crisis should serve as a wake-up call regarding the urgency for increased financing and support of scientific research and collaboration. This concerns not only the natural sciences, but also the social and human and sciences. The virus is an all-encompassing social issue, irreducible to epidemiological data alone, however the fundamental they may be. How to observe the day since 2002, the World Science Day for Peace and Development has generated many projects, programs and funding for science around the world. It has also helped foster cooperation between scientists living in different regions. Individuals, institutions and organizations around the world are highly encouraged to organize a range of events or activities such as conferences, lectures, seminars, group discussions and social media campaigns on the day to promote public awareness of the role and importance of science. Each year, a specific theme is selected by the UN as the focus of celebration. Inception The first World Science Day for Peace and Development was officially held on November 10, 2002. The day was initially proposed in 1999 by the delegations of Ethiopia and Malawi at the World Conference on Science in Budapest, Hungary. In November 2001, the 31st session of the UNESCO General Conference officially proclaimed 10th number of each year World Science Day for Peace and Development. Purposes the World Science Day for Peace and Development is annually celebrated for four objectives. The strengthen public awareness of the role of science in promoting sustainable development and paving the way for peaceful societies. To promote national and international solidarity for shared science between nations. 
to renew local and international commitment for the use of scientific knowledge and technology to benefit societies, to draw attention to the challenges faced by science in raising support for the scientific endeavor. At last, this day aims to raise awareness about the relevance of science, scientific innovation and technology in the society. Every scientific innovation in some way or the other has an impact on our daily lives. Once again, happy World Science Day for all the scientists and you, the creative thinkers. The science of today is the technology of tomorrow. Happy World Science Day 2021. Thank you for listening to the podcast. See you in the next episode. Until then, here is your host Nivedithan signing off. Cheers.